Uh, my name's Adam. Uh, I'm a secondary school teacher um, uh, just down the road from here, uh, just down the road from Alan. Uh, I'm linked through uh, Alan to the Raspberry Jams and uh, the Hack to the Futures and things like that. Um, I, I like what he's written down there. Oh, he's actually crossed it out now. Um, he's written Why Pie, um, and I just started thinking of Apple and, and all my favourite types of pie. But um, I'm teaching GCSE computing for the first time starting in September. And uh, to say I'm petrified would be an understatement. I'm absolutely uh, worried to death about teaching GCSE computing for the first time. I've been texting him off and on uh, over the past couple of months going, uh, right, yeah, I need to come and see you. I need to come and see you teach it. Because as a computer scientist, um, I, I graduated from university in 2004. I don't think the degree level stuff is going to be translatable uh, the way I was taught it to um, as to my 14 to 16 year olds um, and so having seen some people at these jams um, and having seen uh, what you guys can do with a Raspberry Pi um, I'm just trying to think sh is the Pi the way to go is, is it the way to go to get these Raspberry Pis uh, quite a few of them uh, into college and and see if they can be used by uh, by the children um, it seems to be that it's a mixture of electronics I mean we had Brian just up here who was taking bit things to pieces. I wasn't really into that kind of thing when I was uh, at university. I was more the programming side and I think that's the allure of a Raspberry Pi. It can be um, component based or it can be software based or it can be programming based and I think that's that's part of the allure and that's why it's so uh, well, uh, you know, well, well known. Hi China. Um, so uh, I don't have a Raspberry Pi yet, but I have applied for one uh, through the examining board that I'm going with next year. Uh, so hopefully there'll be something to come of that. Um, but anything that exists uh, that can help with teaching and anything that I can pick up from here, uh, e.g. the Raspberry Pi or the hack jams that um, we're going to and uh, obviously the programming tasks, any ideas for programming tasks that can be done in Python or any other language uh, that you think would be suitable for 14 to 16 year olds, uh, just uh, try and explain it to us and then I'll try and do it myself and then I'll try and figure out a way of teaching it. So uh, that's me done. Have, have I done long enough? Have I done my time? Brilliant. All right. Thank you very much. Books. Right, okay, on how to teach it. Yeah, on, yeah. on how to, uh, with just some ideas for lessons. How do you spell Rafi? I'll, I'll tweet a link to it. Tweet me a link, right, no problems. So, it's Chris Rafi. Uh, Python Basics, I think it's called. Right. And Harry's going to make a suggestion as well. Yeah. yeah the listen teacher. To, listen yeah. to Alan's blogs. Yes, um, yeah, the podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've got, a, yeah, I've got them all on here. The uh, the worrying thing is, I, I think I tweeted you once uh, or sent you a message. Um, I've got this podcast app on uh, on the iPad, um, and. Uh, Alan's face comes up whenever whenever I'm listening to him, uh, and it's quite scary. Just you know, uh, when when you're looking down and thinking, "Good God, that!" But uh, yeah. Every time I look in the mirror, I see. Yeah. I'm working on a deck of a couple of teachers giving feedback, which you might want to look at. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'm I'm sitting right next to you. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I'll pass thank you, you this. Thank you very much, Adam. And thank you for you know stepping in to give a talk.